Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Active Directory Recycle Bin in Windows Server. So, have you ever been in a situation where you accidentally deleted a user or a group or an organizational unit? And let's say you want to restore as quickly as possible. So, you just don't want to restore the user accounts, but you should be able to restore their attributes as well. Well, in Windows Server 2008 Active Directory or earlier, you had very little you can do other than restoring the Active Directory database or recreating the user accounts or use a third party tool to recover it. But starting with Windows Server 2008 R2, you have something called as Active Directory Recycle Bin, which can be used to restore your deleted objects. But Enabling Active Directory Recycle Bin or even working with Recycle Bin in Windows Server 2008 R2 was not that easy because you had to use PowerShell and if you're not familiar with PowerShell then it can become very complicated. So Microsoft, they listened to this and based on the feedback, they made the Active Directory Recycle Bin as a part of the Active Directory Administrative Center in Windows Server 2012. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up the Active Directory Recycle Bin and how you can use it. So just like uh, Windows Server 2008 R2, Active Directory Recycle Bin is not enabled by default. Let me show you how you can enable. So I'm going to open up Server Manager. I'm going to click on All Servers. I have my domain controller here, which is DC01. So I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to click on Active Directory Administrative Center. Now all I have to do is I have to right click on my domain. And you'll see an option that says Enable Recycle Bin. You'll get a dialog box and as it says, once you enable the Recycle Bin, it'll always be enabled. So you cannot disable it at a later time. Now before you enable the Recycle Bin, you should also be aware that the size of the Active Directory database, which is ntds.dit file, will increase. So the disk space used by the Recycle Bin will continue to increase as and when it preserves objects and their attributes data. So you need to make sure that you won't run out of disk space, especially if you're in the habit of continually deleting objects from AD. Also, another thing is that you must be a member of the Enterprise Administrators group to access the recycle bin. So I'm going to click on OK. So soon after you click OK in the Enable Recycle Bin Confirmation dialog box, you'll be reminded that Recycle Bin won't be fully functional until a change is replicated to all domain controllers. Now in my demo, I just have one domain controller so I can safely ignore this. So I'm going to click on OK and I'll go into my domain and I don't see the recycle bin, so I'm going to refresh it. Here you can see the recycle bin. So let me do a demo. Let me delete some objects and see how it goes. I have an OU. It's named North America. And I have a few users and a security group. I have another OU inside North America OU, which is New York. And if I click here, again, I have few users and uh, a security group. If you notice, I've disabled this option, which is protect object from accidental deletion. I did this on purpose for the sake of this demo. So what I'm going to do is I am going to right click on this and I'll hit delete. So I'm going to select uh, use delete subtree server control. Basically what it will do is it will delete all the objects and OUs under that. I'll click yes. All right. So let me click on uh, refresh here. All right. So uh, if you delete an object by default, it will be stored in recycle bin for 180 days. 
and this is as per the forest's tombstone lifetime attribute. There is a limit to the number of items that can be displayed in the recycle bin. By default, I think it should be 20,000, but you can always change this number by clicking manage and clicking the manage list options. And you can go up to, I believe, uh, 100,000 objects. All right, so I'm going to cancel this. So by default, you can see there will be five columns. The first one is name, when was it deleted, and the last known parent, and the type, whether they are user or groups or OUs, and the description. You can always add additional column by right-clicking on a header and selecting the appropriate columns. Now, when you have your recycle bin running for a very long time, there will be a likelihood that you'll have several thousands of objects in your recycle bin and scrolling through the list will take a very long time. So you can always use this filter to narrow down what you need to find. For example, if, you're, if I want to find a user named John, I can simply type it and it's going to filter down to the user account that I'm looking for. And if you click this button, you can add more criteria such as user with disabled enabled accounts, users with an expired password, users whose password has an expiration date. So if you scroll through this list, you'll get quite a few criteria to specify for your search. So I'm going to click cancel on this. Now let's just say I want to restore John Mayer. So if I click restore, it's going to restore to its original location and if I click restore to it's going to restore it to another location so I can specify location where I want to restore so let me just restore it to its original location and you can see it will give you an error message which says the operation could not be performed because the object's parent is either uninstalled or deleted so as you know that this object was under an OU called New York, which was under North America, I believe. Let me right click again and click on locate parent. And this is your parent. So I'm going to right click this and click on restore. So it's going to give me, so it's saying the same error message. So it means I have to locate the parent of this sub OU. So if you see here, this is the, this should be the parent OU for this child OU. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'll right click and click locate parent. All right, so you can see here, this is the parent OU. So if I right click here, I'll click restore. And if I go back to Active Directory Users and Computers, all right, I can see North America, but I don't see the child OUs and the objects which were there in the North America OUs. So I'm going to select them all which have deleted from North America OU. I'll click Restore. All right, let me come back to ADUC and I'll hit Refresh. Okay, so you can see that it has restored all its objects, OUs, and security group. And if I click on one of the security group to see if it has restored the attributes and the group membership, you can see that it has restored. So it has done a very good job of restoring the objects. All right, so that is how you can easily restore your objects. Now one thing I want to tell you is that the recycle bin can only work with domain partition. It's not going to work with your configuration partition or domain DNS partition or forest DNS partition. So you cannot restore them using Active Directory recycle bin. All right, I hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel.